Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the new LTDs, some draft round two through four promo part two uh, release stuff that we did get pretty early, as well as some new jerseys that will be coming out in the game today, guys. Now, hopefully, we have a good morning Madden pack to open, and of course, it's not there. Uh, I think it's like claim it now, which we don't understand the stream. I, I don't understand why they're doing that, but it is what it is. It's been a little, little bit of an issue. But regardless, guys, it's getting over. Let's check out the new LTDs for today. Let's check out that. Then we'll go over to the screenshots for draft promo part two. Now remember, there's going to be multiple parts. This. We're going to have rounds two through four, maybe four through seven, then maybe undrafted. Then we're probably going to have, you know, then we're going to have the actual NFL players, the rookies that get drafted, like Trevor Lawrence, uh, you know, Mike Parsons, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, and so on and so forth. But. Before we get into the video, head on down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, boys, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below, let me know what's going on, if you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below, and use code POODLE at checkout for 5% off your order. Let's head on over, so of course we have some new 98s in the game, um guys, by the way, sort of big news, next week is our final limited time drop, so, not our final limited time player, but the, the, the weekly weekly thursday limited time drops that will be completely finished as of next week so we have that's done wildcard wednesday is about to be done so guys kind of the end of uh kind of the end of content uh you know weekly content now kevin byard robert woods is up as well and so is kevin byard i start robert woods so he's 98 overall wide receiver for the Rams. i assume ltds will be 99 next week uh considering but who knows 96 speed so that's great <clears throat> and he has a power up 94 jumping is great catching 99 is amazing 97 catch and traffic 97 catch and traffic is amazing 95 spec catch is amazing 98 deep route run i mean 98 short running 98 medium and 94 deep route running is amazing let's start with the front of the car this car is actually really good at six feet tall so power to camden field 99 speed 95 jumping 99 catching 99 catch and traffic potentially 99 spec he'll have 99 short 99 medium and if you give him go deep he'll have 99 deep as well so he's he could be an all max route running receiver with max catching and max speed guys Let's check the behind the card stats. So you got 90 steel, 97 excel, which is really good. 94 carrying is amazing. 93 trucking is good. 94 ball carry vision. 91 juking is good. Uh, let's see. 86 break tackles modest. You know, it's not, not great. Car overall is a really, you know, he's a pure receiver, right? He's going to be able to do everything that you need a receiver to do. After he gets the ball in his hands, he's not going to be the craziest with the juking, craziest, the agility. It's going to be about average with all that. But again, guys, you do get some pretty amazing, from like the receiver standpoint, right? The key stats, as they call them here. He can catch, run routes. He'll come down with the ball, spec catch, jump, run, run around people, breakaway speed. He just won't be the craziest like we know with spinning and maybe stiff arms and breaking crazy tackles. But he's going to get the ball in his hands. He's going to be efficient with that. And that's kind of what we, we care about when it comes to a receiver. Now, next, guys, we do have Kevin Bayard, which is the safety for the Titans, our other new one we got. Now, I need overall free safety now. Start with the speed. 95 speed. Kind of an L. Again, you can only get up to 98 now, which does kind of suck. Uh, Excel, 95 as well. Tackling 92, 98 play rec, 97 pursuit, 90 man, 98 zone, 88 hit power. So he has low hit power. He doesn't get 99 speed, and he's only 5 foot 11, so he doesn't have height. This card all around is going too bad, right? So like, if you're gonna have low hit power, you gotta have crazy man zone and speed, and probably be tall. He is short for the most part. He's not going to be the fastest on the field. He's not going to be the hardest hitter on the field. He's not going to be the best coverage on the field. Now, Power Dome Chemdev, he will have 98 speed, which isn't horrible. 96 Excel. He will have 99 play rec. He will have 99 zone and about 95 man. Give or take 96 man with 89 hit power. So he falls short of that threshold as well. Strength's only a 74. Agility is 93, which is decent. 84 catching is pretty good. 90 change direction pretty good. Carrying 81 is decent, I guess. I don't know why he has that. Impact blocking is a 70. What's his block shed? Does he have any block shed? Only 71 block shed. This, overall, this free safety, Kevin Bayard, is just really bad. So, he won't be that great in the run game. He won't be that great at laying the boom. He won't be the fast guy in the field. He won't be the best guy in just pure coverage. Uh, he's not going to be the tallest, so he can't get thrown over and potentially even lost. Um, in my opinion, this card is really just not that great. I think they could have won a few other ways with this card. I think at least I've given him the 90 hit power threshold and maybe give him a 94 zone man. So, we can get the 99, uh, 99 man at least. Or not even 93, man, right? Because I still guess that's still what have gotten it. But overall, I think they did kind of mess up this card just a little bit. I feel as though there were other ways and better ways to potentially do this card. I And again, he's, 90, he's a 98 overall, so it's kind of upsetting that 
there's not even any there's no there's no stats above 98 for starters um but a lot of stats below right so if you're, if you're gonna that's how it's like it's like averaging right if a lot of stats are below 98 and he's 98 there should be a lot of stats above 98 right so kind of average back up but that's not the case here but i guess it is what it is that's about it for that guys let's head on over to the screenshot to check out some of the draft stuff yeah so here's some of the draft stuff remember the draft sanders was selected in the third round of the 2010 NFL draft by the Steelers. He caught his first pass deep right for 22 yards against the Browns on October 17, 2010. So, guys, this is going to be rounds, I told you, two through four. So, we got the first round players already. This is round two through four. Then, of course, we'll probably get like five through seven and then potentially undrafted and then so on and so forth. So, Emmanuel Sanders, part one. So, we do know Emmanuel Sanders will be getting a pretty good card for this, of course. Um, there's going to be more solos again, which is kind of cool because remember, at the end of all these solos, if you get enough stars, you will be able to go ahead and collect the players that you do want to collect right which is important because of course if you don't collect the players you want to collect i mean sorry the stars you want to collect you won't be able to get the 99 overall player so that's definitely important that you guys do go ahead and get that done because it would kind of suck if you didn't get the 99 overall player that's a big part of this promo is getting the free 99 right the first overall pick which is more than likely is trevor lawrence the only thing that sucks about that you know it's going to be a quarterback and quarterbacks one of those positions where people really don't tend to care as much because they want to get like a golden ticket one which is going to be coming out pretty soon too you know, NFL Draft subcategories too. Just kind of showing you guys there will be a new set. Now, that does come out tomorrow, guys, with a potential pre-reveal tonight. Potential. Next up, Andy Dalton, 91 overall field general quarterback. Kralo did mention that a lot of people have been asking for him, which I don't believe that a lot of people are asking for a Cowboys card art. Andy Dalton, 91 overall. But it is what it is. Moving on, he's got 78 speed, which actually isn't horrible for him. 93 throw power, decent. 90 short, 88 medium, 86 deep, 85 throw under pressure, 87 throw on the run. 87 play action let me know please let me know how we have a card that's above 90 overall in going into almost may 2021 here and we have a card with one two three four five 80 overall stats and 170 he literally has two stats above 90 everything else in the 80s he's 91 i don't know what the thought process was on this one can't get powered up either so you can't even put him on a Bengals steam team he will be a chicago bears quarterback only and i really hope there's better options for a chicago bears quarterback at this point and honestly, there may not be. I, I'm not entirely sure which risk he got his last card or Nick Foles or what cards really do work there. But again, not that great of a card. This Andy Dalton's pretty much in L for the most part. Uh, moving on, guys, we do have Emmanuel Sanders, who is going to be one of the heroes, which we kind of assume from the solo sequence, right? Now, Emmanuel Sanders doesn't look too bad. He's going to be on the Buffalo Bills. Of course, he can be powered up, though, so he can go on the Saints. He can go on the Broncos. I believe he can go. I want to. Oh, no, I don't remember. Was he on the Steelers? I can never remember if he was on the Steelers. I'm not entirely sure, but Emmanuel Sanders, 95 speed, 93 jumping, 98 catching, 97 catching traffic, 94 spec, 95 short, 94 medium, 94 deep. So very, very well-rounded card. Great on theme teams. We'll get a 98 speed. So that's that's good, but not the greatest. We'll get 94 jumping. We'll get 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, potentially 99 spec, depending on what account you pick. He can get 99 short, 99 medium, and 95 deep. So going to be a good receiver, not bad at all. I don't think he's meta by any means necessary, but again, he's, he's behind the card stats. Emmanuel Sanders typically is really good at juking and changing direction. He's going to be really good with the ball in his hands. Um, the only thing with him, like I said, is going to be that he won't be a meta card. Uh, he will be a card that if you get, you could use as a second or third wide receiver. I don't think if you have a god squad with all the coins in the world, you pick him. But again, not many people are like that, right? Now, the one thing I would potentially say, though, is going to be that it will be important going forward for them to really go ahead and make sure we get some receivers that completely start maxing out, guys. Which is going to be golden tickets, right? Um, again, this guy will be really good on theme teams for the most part. Like I said, Broncos, Bills, Saints, so on and so forth. He'll be really good on those teams, of course. So, you can't really knock him in that aspect. Like, he's going to be good there. He's going to be great there. But, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, head over to my Coinbase. and just go cool. I'll check out the Fox Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.